In this video, we're going to talk about the idea of timbre. When we're talking about timbre, we're talking about the tone color of the sound. This is the thing that makes a violin sound like a violin as opposed to a flute, or a clarinet sound like a clarinet instead of a trumpet, or a drum not sounding like an electric guitar. So this is the basic quality of a sound that distinguishes one sound from another. How do we actually get timbre? Well, the timbre of a sound is determined by the strength of its overtones. Now, what are overtones? Overtones are the different waves that actually make up a sound, and they're all sine waves. They sound like this. Now, we can make every sound in the universe by adding up different sine waves. So if I start with this one, I add another one. You can hear them adding. Now, if I just play the different sounds now, all of those sine waves have now merged to make this particular timbre. I can make it brighter by adding higher frequency sine waves like this. Or brighter still, like this. Or I can change the timbre it further by taking some of those sine waves out. They're going to remove the odd harmonics. A harmonic is just a special type of overtone. So now it sounds quite different to what we had before. Also, the timbre is determined by how the overtone content changes in time. If we look at this synthesizer, it's producing a timbre which has got lots of different sine waves in it. Each of those spikes on that display represents a sine wave. I can make it so I've got a single sine wave and then add more sine waves to it. You can see I added overtones and the timbre changed. So if I can do that automatically or this or this, or this, or this. The speed in which the overtones fade in and out also affects the timbre. There are a number of ways of classifying timbres. One of them is to classify them into have uh, they got harmonic overtones or inharmonic overtones. What that means is there's a simple mathematical relationship between the overtones frequencies when they are harmonic and this simple mathematical relationship is not there when they are inharmonic. Harmonic timbres sound pure like this. Inharmonic timbres sound more clangy like this. Or this. Another way of classifying timbres is by how they're produced. The sounds which are made by blowing into things are called aerophones, such as flutes and whistles. Instruments that make sounds by vibrating strings are called chordophones. They can be bowed or struck or plucked. Instruments that are idiophones are things that are hit and the body of the instrument vibrates. They can be either struck, shaken, scraped or rubbed. And membranophones are instruments that have a vibrating membrane, such as a drum skin, and these can be struck, rubbed or even sung into.